Oh, yeah! Let's move on to the next match of the night, because it is Ricochet versus Braun Strowman in the semifinals of the SmackDown World Cup. This match got underway, and Strowman just tossed Ricochet all around, and Ricochet dipped and dodged, but Strowman was just an immovable object during this match, and he almost had it won. He almost had Ricochet down for the count before Gunter and Imperium come out, and they would cause a distraction, and Ricochet would take advantage with the surprise roll-up and get the win over Braun Strowman. What do you think about this, Rob? So actually, before the match starts, I wanna I wanna point something out here. So uh, before they went into the match, we actually got to see L.A. Knight uh, backstage. He was uh, trapped uh, on the cement, like grabbing his left shoulder or something like that, and some guys were trying to help him. Uh, so you know, another attack. Yeah, he was down. To, yeah, he was down. Uh, it was it was literally right before the match. I'm not really sure. It was like right after the commercial. Um, yeah, so that that happened. So second week in a row that L.A. Knight gets attacked. Um, and so that was exciting. I enjoyed that a lot. So as for the match, not the outcome I was expecting. You were expecting it though. You called it last week that you said it would be great to see Ricochet get this win. And so that was fantastic. Yeah. So match wise, it's a fun match. Good David versus Goliath thing. I don't know why. So Gunther, you could tell he's, uh, you know, I guess showing that he's afraid of Braun Strowman, not someone that he would rather face. Uh, so I don't know kind of what the storyline plan is here, uh, if you're not going to have him win the tournament. Uh, but at the same time, I don't know. At the, You made Strowman kind of show his, uh, A, he got pinned for the first time since he got back, but then B, also showing a little bit more respect for the smaller guy. So that makes it kind of seem like it was that tweet that he said a while ago, like supposed to be kind of a work, you know, trying to play a little bit off and on. So... It, it was a fine David Goliath match. Put Ricochet over, made it seem like a big deal. I mean, he got the first pin on Strowman. Um, but eventually, I think all roads lead to Strowman Gunther. Am I, am I wrong? I mean, it seemed to me like uh, Gunther coming down and causing distraction for Ricochet to get the win was, you know, because Gunther has faced Ricochet before and has beat Ricochet before. So you know, maybe he sees Ricochet as the easier opponent. And, you know, didn't want, you know, that's why he doesn't want Strowman winning this match. You know? So, right. Definitely, uh, great storytelling there for, uh, the first time we actually see Gunter be timid towards an opponent. Fair enough. Thank you for listening to Cream of the Corrupt Wrestling. You can embrace the madness by finding us on Facebook at facebook.com slash Cream of the Corrupt Wrestling. Follow us on Twitter at Cream of the Corrupt W. Subscribe to our YouTube channel by typing Cream of the Crop Wrestling in the search bar. Have fun with us on TikTok at Cream of the Crop Wrestling. And you can always find full episodes of the podcast wherever podcasts are found. Nothing means nothing. Man. Nothing means nothing. What do you mean by that? More. I'm talking about all the way to the top, yeah. Unjustifiably in a position that I'd rather not be in. But the cream will rise to the top, oh yeah. You know that I'm the cream of the crop. The cream of the crop. Nobody does it better. Oh yeah.